that we should probably start with introductions because we have new people and there's a camera in my face. Anyways, <laughs> um, so I'm Chris, uh, president of AAFT. I'm a history major and uh, also a philosophy major, and I'm the president of Yield Group. Um, we exist as a place for people to come together and talk about religion, talk about society, talk about culture, talk about philosophy, talk about a great deal of things that interconnect, that change, that deal with religion on some level. It's like back when I was a student, that's a long time ago, the expansion of the Israeli territories. That would have been what, the 60s? You'd be surprised at the degree of foresight that the lobbyists for Israel have. They will throw money at people who may not be there today, may not be there tomorrow, but maybe in a decade or so they'll be in a position where they would be deciding Israel's interests, and so they will invest in them early. So. What? I don't even know what to say. It sounds terrifying. It sounds like a terrible place. It sounds like it sounds like a worse version of Australia, because in Australia, like all the animals kill you, but here it's like all the people kill you, and they just want to like trap you there and keep you there for a really long time. That sucks. I don't even want to talk about this area. It's bumming me out. I don't even know what to do. Last year we started, there are probably no gods, but that doesn't mean you still can't you know, love Michelangelo or respect the Incan pyramids or the poetry of the Quran or something like that. And they, there is a theme of these. There are probably no gods, but that doesn't mean you can't celebrate Christmas. Once again, not a lot of people cared. I've seen all sorts of defacings. things. It doesn't happen much with the Flyers. It does happen with the Flyers. You know, I'm not going to say people didn't comment ever, but every, every so often somebody would write something like, God still loves you, find the light on our Flyers. It just wasn't very common. I mean, secular reason, secular thought, has a coherent system of ethics as a philosopher. You know, whether you're studying utilitarianism or Kant's deontology, it seems to pre present a coherent view of what is the good. Whereas divine command theory, you know, the belief that whatever God tells you, God could tell you to kill someone. And if God tells you to kill me, that seems wrong. <laughs> I always had that like, like thought inside of me, like maybe if I, if I die here, I'll live somewhere else. I'm not gonna bank on that though. Because I'm pretty sure that when I'm, when my number's called, my number's called. But uh, that'd be nice. That would be really nice. 